Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cox Connections. Brad Grunemeyer, Director of Public Government Affairs for Cox, Louisiana. Thank you so much for tuning into our show. Uh, one of the, I think, the hidden gems, but you hear all about and you see all about it, is the great folks at NOCA, uh, the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. Uh, just really an amazing uh, institution that has been doing some amazing stuff, more so bringing in an, 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 a, an incredible class year after year and just putting out uh, the finest of, uh, of art, of music, of drama, of uh, visual arts and performing arts. Just, it just really, it, it's something we as people from New Orleans uh, have to see as um, the think tank, if you will, or the, uh, the hodgepodge or the gumbo of great and, and aspiring young people and the great work that they're doing. It's really just a class, uh, location, uh, faculty and staff, and I uh, do have guests and I'm gonna let them talk, but I'm still rambling. But I say that because it really is something we in New Orleans should be very proud of, and we are, because it has a long list of great uh, people who've been through their doors, and two uh, distinguished ones are joining me today. I'm happy to be joined by Ms. Shauna Moore, uh, who is uh, in uh, creative writing, yeah? pretty much, and uh, uh, Dean Ray, who is also in drama there. Thank you both for coming by. Great to have you, Shauna. Dean, good to see you, sir. Uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, Shauna, your, uh, your path to NOCA, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, uh, when I first moved down to New Orleans, I was uh, looking for creative writing opportunities because I really liked the English department, but I wanted to specialize in um, a writing field that wasn't just research papers. Sure, and sure. Essays. And because you're a student at Thomas Jefferson High School mm -hmm. in Jefferson Parish, did you uh, have to apply or um, uh, go through some form of competition or submission to to be able to go to NOCA in that area? Um, well, I just um, the application process. You have to right. send in a sample because they want to see your work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you interview. <clears throat> Which was harder, writing or the interview? <laughs> the interview. <laughs> oh, you're doing great now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and but uh, you, you've enjoyed it there, have you not? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. It's been a very beneficial. And process. you know, I mean, you know, creative writing seems, you know, one would ask, I think, how how can they help you with that? So how have they helped you in that? Um, they, you know, they, you know make you try a lot of new things right. um, make you lead, kind of open your horizon you know uh, test and taste this kind of maybe books or authors you maybe not or, or have definitely. read or heard of before and kind of just open up your uh, purview to to those who can expand that for you mm -hmm. you read the classics and then you read all the contemporary yeah. new stuff and your favorite any any, <laughs> any classic uh, author um, that you enjoy I'm getting a lot into um, Gabriel Garcia Marquez wow. right now. Wow, very, mm -hmm. yeah. very good, very uh, good. Dean and I are nodding like we know. We're, we're very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Dean, for yourself, uh, a student uh, in what grade? Uh, you 12? Yep. Yep, Senior. at Destrian High School mm -hmm. in, uh, in St. Charles Parish. Uh, for yourself, uh, in drama, how long have you been doing drama? You um, since a young man? Well, I got started in my school's uh, talented theater program when I was in the fifth grade, and um, I just did it um, uh, primarily. It was like baseball or something. Where, that was, was that at Hearst? Um, no, actually, I started at Scheffner, and then okay. I went to yeah. Hearst, and there um, I got exposed to NOCA for the first time by um, being provoked, you know, into into the audition. You know, yeah. my teacher said, uh, "Hey, there's an art school. Um, you should look into it. You should think about auditioning." So I was like, "Okay, you know." Um, in audition, and I've been there for four years. How has been the experience from the drama side? I, I hear just rave reviews on, on how incredible of an experience it is to, to go through drama at Noco. Oh, it's, how is it? Uh, it's incredible. It's, um, I, mean, they, I mean, they teach acting, and, and it's um, in the American tradition of it. Um, and I really have to say that that, that program, I mean, they, they train you in movement, um, in speech, and um, in theater history, they educate you on your field, as it has been existing for the past couple of thousand years. Wow. Um, right. Yeah, we, we right. started back with um, ancient Greek theater artists, and we come all the way up to the contemporary. And um, all the while, you're, you're learning acting as you go. Um, and uh, I really have to say, it's just made, helped me, not, not made me into a better person, but helped me kind of discover that better person that I want to be. And right. it's just been, been self-discovery, because everyone turns out differently. Sure. Um, well, but has it also then led you to make a decision on if this is what you want to do uh, in your career going Absolutely. forward? And yes. then 
uh, open up your um, understanding of what you need to do, the path you need to get to where you want to go. Yes. Is it, it film? Is it drama? Is it Broadway? Is you know wh what are you looking to do? Well, me, um, I've had most of my training in um, on the stage, and um, I've had some exposure to film and uh, commercials, yep. television. I've gone to auditions actually since I've been at Noka for the past two years. I've been auditioning for. Um, Films and commercials. Yeah, because this um, is it. We're just, yeah, this, it's this is the place for for to, to do that. But um, a lot of my training is for the stage, and I find uh, the most satisfaction in um, acting for the stage. Yeah, um, that is something that I'm very very passionate about, um, and I will I hope to be doing it for as long as I live. Uh, what would you say for someone who might be watching right now, asking themselves, you know, uh, is Noka something I should do? Is is uh, should I you know, bust through, <laughs> get beyond the fear factor or the, or the, you know, whatever anxiety that might come because obviously it's such a great institution, but for them to encourage them to at least uh, fill out application, try and see oh. if you can get into the program. Well, absolutely. I think there's, there's no harm whatsoever in, um, in applying and in, in auditioning, trying sure. out. Um, but as far as making the decision to commit to the place, yes. um, I think that even though it does get scary for some kids, um, it's it's an important decision, and it's it it's always turns out for the better. I think, because even if you end up going there for a few weeks and not um, not sustaining uh, a student role there, right. you learn more about yourself than you, you ever would have. How has it, uh, Shauna, prepared you for life? Well, um... beyond graduation, <laughs> I should say. I, I've really learned yeah. what it means to really love creative writing. Yeah. I think at NOCA, Dean would agree that the teachers there, they they love what they do and they love the students. Oh, yeah. And this is the only school I've ever been to. Dean and I both, both go to um, the one o'clock class and the teachers mm -hmm. have stayed with me till six o'clock just working on one piece. And they teach you that it's a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication to do something that you love. Mm -hmm. But it's it's really worth it. For you know, we often talk about you know giving equipping you with the tools to mm -hmm. to to be successful. I would say that would be the case. Oh, big time! I would say, um, and just like you were saying about how they keeping you from one to six, working with you on mm -hmm. one piece. I mean, I've, there's been times where I've d done longer days than that. You know, just just working in the craft. Um, what's really cool about Noka is that they treat you like a professional while you're there. Yes. Um, they they don't. They don't walk in there and say, you know, hey, we have a high school kid. We're going to put on, you know, it's, it's <laughs> not. They right. treat you like you want to be sure, a professional yeah. in this. Because you want to be treated that yeah. way. You want to yeah. be treated like an adult, but where much is given, much is expected. So you know you need to step up your game, rise to a level, and, mm -hmm. and, and be ready to uh, give as much as you're getting, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a fantastic place. Uh, I think the world of it, if you're, if you're watching the show right now and interested in learning or know of, of a student, uh, a younger student, who might be eligible or might be interested in NOCA, let me give you some information on how you can get in touch with them. You can go to NOCA.com for more information or give them a call at 940-2787 or 940-ARTS uh, to call NOCA or to go to their website at NOCA.com for more information. Truly, um, it's not a hidden gem, but truly uh, a, a place of, of great learning and it's just continuing to bring out the, the quality of students that we have I'm proudly to say next to me and being a part of this program today it's just uh, hats off to them and, and continued success for both of you individually Thank you. and uh, thanks to NOCA for the great work that they're doing uh, obviously by having you guys associated with their program great to have you here Sean good to see you sir you as well much. all right everybody that wraps up go to NOCA learn about it go take a tour go look around it's a fantastic facility NOCA.com or 940 Arts. Thanks a lot for watching this segment of Cox Connection. We'll see you next time.